June 6, 1944. 175,000 Allied soldiers breached the walls of Fortress Europe through intense German resistance. By late June, Sherberg had fallen, giving the Allies the port they so desperately needed. By early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field-to-field -field hedgerow fighting unleashed a breakout across France. With the Germans in full retreat, the Allies marched into Paris. Field Marshal Montgomery moved north into Belgium, while General Patton and the Third Army pushed to the Siegfried Line. It was here that the Allies encountered their newest enemy, the lack of sufficient supplies. Patton's plan was to run straight through the teeth of the Siegfried Line directly to Berlin. Monty had devised a daring airborne operation that had the potential of ending the war by Christmas. Having only enough supplies to support one advance, the fate of thousands rested in the hands of the few. With Allied superiority on land, sea and air, what could go wrong? Sie kommen über 
Ich Nicht der Feldwebel! Noch mehr Abi! Er wurde getroffen! Ich werde... Holz! Los! Sperrfeuer! Sie kommen über die Flanken! Geht über die Flanke! Sperrfeuer! By now, the Allies had recognized that the grand ambitions of Operation Market Garden were not going to be fulfilled. The war in the West would not be over by Christmas. On the afternoon of September the 22nd, Eisenhower and his senior theater commanders agreed that the defeat of Germany would require more than an advance by the British. Instead, a new unified strategy involving the entire Allied presence in northwestern Europe was determined to advance towards the Reich. Amazingly, the meeting took place without the presence of the field marshal whose grand scheme had now proved to be a failure. Bernard Montgomery sent his chief of staff instead. When the most senior Allied commanders in Europe finally accepted that the battle for Arnhem was lost, the prime mover behind the battle was nowhere to be seen. Though Montgomery later talked of the operation having been 90% successful, he knew in his own mind that this represented failure. The only failure of a remarkable career.